What I remember, I had a severe headache in the hospital. Is that they were doing my MRI, and I could not be in that enclosure for a long time. That's all I remember, and then I went completely blank. I got a call from uh, back home. What seemed like about 25, 28 calls. And when I called my parents back home, they were not reachable. So I called my cousin. And he said, "You have to jump on the next plane to Bombay because Keegan's not well." And I said, "You know, he's not well. What's what's a big deal?" And uh, I remember walking into the hospital and going to the ICU. And it was absolute chaos. Um, and Keegan was in between all of that chaos, trying to talk to a doctor, trying to talk to a nurse. Everyone was giving you like bits and pieces of information, but they didn't really know what it was. All they said was it was a brain infection. So. We had to take a call whether to keep him in the same hospital, but uh, I was of the opinion that we had to take him to one of the best facilities given his condition. And uh, a doctor that we consulted basically recommended Reliance Foundation Hospital uh, as you know, a premier place to to go ahead and treat conditions like this. When we saw him first, his uh, Glasgow coma scale was in the range of about six uh, by fifteen or so. The next two days, uh, we continued therapy, which was already going on. That is injection methylprednisolone, and we changed the therapy of second line. What it means is there is a demyelination and swelling of the brain. So this we had second type line of therapy was already started for this gentleman. And the next 48 hours while he was here, instead of improving, he continued to deteriorate on the day three. And when we repeated a scan, there was massive swelling of the brain and the entire right brain. Which was swollen was shifting to the left side, and his clinical signs suggested that he was undergoing what is known as coning, the herniation of the brain. So I immediately invited our neurosurgeon, Dr. Agarwal. So in Keegan's case, because all the medical options were exhausted, as a last resort, we gave option of doing a decompressive craniotomy. We were in cut a big portion of skull bone and we remove it over the swollen brain. We do oftenly this procedure in cases of head injury, in acute stroke. To save patient's life, good part was that the family agreed. In spite they knowing that his neurological condition was very poor, he had a very high risk of infection because of all those medical treatment. His immunity status was low, and then gradually with the medical treatment, with the intensive care unit treatment, he improved. And now he is improved. So we have placed those bone back to the head, and we have fixed it with small screws and uh, plates. The disfigurement which was created because of removal of the bone is also reconstructed now. So Keegan's case has been a example of a multidisciplinary team approach, especially from the care that we had given. It was a timely approach on decision making by the neurologist Dr. Arun Shah. It was exemplary nursing care which was given. Uh, most important part will be the family in this because Keegan's brother has always been positive from day one since he was brought. Every decision that we took, he took it uh, very positively and had never said no, never doubted because it made us more uh, relaxed in taking decisions and it was more easier in managing the whole case i just want to thank everyone who was there for me who prayed for me who you know was there when i required them to be so that's something which is and i'm very really grateful for also whatever i went through i just want to let any everyone know that never give up hope because You know, I I literally know that I was in a coma and I was in a blank space, but um, I and I right now feel that I've fought through so much. And if you really believe and if you really fight through all your difficulties, you'll be able to achieve anything. And that's why I'm here today.